Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss validating statements. So there are some rules to validate a statement that we will discuss one by one. So rule number one is if P and Q are if P and Q are mathematical statements mathematical statements then in order to show then in order to show that the statements that the statements P and Q is true the following steps are followed the following steps are followed so the step number one for this is show that statement p is true show that statement p is true second step is show that the statement statement Q is true. Okay, so we need to if we need to show that statement P and Q is true, then we need to show individually both are true. So rule number two statement with or if P and Q are mathematical statement and then in order to show that P or Q so this is all same in this P or Q then we need to show we need to case take two cases case one which is by assuming that P is false show that Q must be true must so if one is false we are assuming then second must be true okay and second case by assuming now here q is false show that p must be true okay so this is about or statement now let us discuss about statements with if and then so students in order to prove so this is the statement i am writing here in order to prove the statement if p then q we need to show we need to show any one of the following case any one of following so I am writing case number one which is by assuming that P is true prove that Q must be true prove that Q must be true okay so this is the direct method and in the indirect method where you can say contrapositive method by assuming q is false prove that p must be false okay students so these are the steps that we need to follow now rule number four statement with if and only if statement with if and only if okay so in order to prove that p if and only if q we need to show that first if p is true then q is true or second case and if 
q is true then p is true so these are the steps that we need to follow and students in doing the questions we can check whether uh, which statements we need to work upon okay so if it is a if then statement then we need to work upon these two cases then if it is a or that we have discussed rule number four for or statements and if and only if statement then we need to use rule number four so with this students our chapter on mathematical reasoning ends and i hope that you are pretty clear about this chapter and if you are still facing any issue or any question based on this then please please do comment in the comment section thank you happy learning